Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us see the part one of the topic that is a new topic. This is that integration. So now first thing, let us see what is here for integration. There are two parts in that one that is indefinite integration and the definite integration. So for the indefinite integration, that will be you will, we write this one, this sign is integrate of fx into dx and for this one definite integration of we have from 0 to b that is fx dx so actually what is indefinite integration it is the uh, we already seen the differentiation so it is the reverse process of in, uh, differentiation and it is also called as the antiderivative anti means the opposite of the derivative means so we say that is the reverse process of differentiation. So, so if we have now x square and if we differentiate, we get this will be uh, this square means that will be n x is true and minus one. So we get here n is two x is true two minus one. So we get two x. But when we integrate this two x, we get the opposite of that. That is x square. Now let us see some of the formulas. If d by dx of f of x that is this is capital X the F so that will be F of X this is small one then F of X DX integration of that will be this will be cap capital F X plus C and then X is true integration of X is true and DX will be X is true here it will be n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus C and integration of sin X DX is minus cos X plus C cos x dx is sin x plus c integration of x square x that is also called a second square x dx is 10x plus c then cos x square x dx is minus cot x plus c and then 1 by x dx that is all integration that is log of this we write for the absolute value x plus c and for here e of e raised to x dx will be e raised to x plus c here it remains the same and here if it is ax dx that will be a raised to x divided by log of a plus c. So what you have to do in this one you must have seen in derivatives now in integration there are many formulas. There is no way but you have to write the formulas separately. Learn it anyways you have write and learn or you have to. Otherwise if you don't know the formulas the problems you won't be able to solve the problems based on it. So now uh, look at here again if it is integration f, f of x plus or minus g of x dx is that is f of x dx you will separate this one plus or minus uh, you will integrate this integration of gx dx. Now integration k f of x dx so here k is constant so you will take out of the integration sign that will be k into integration of f of x dx and here if it is again here integration of k dx Again, this k will be taken outside. So what remains inside is 1 dx. And that 1 dx means k will be as it is. Whenever integration 1 dx means that is going to be x. Integration 1 dx is x and this is plus c. And here integration of f of ax plus b dx that will be here this a will go out. That will be 1 by a f of this total ax plus b. So now let us see how to solve the problems based on this. Evaluate the following indefinite integrals. So this is the integration integral. This one is given as x raised to 4 plus 3x minus 9 dx. So what will you do? You will separate this each part first one. Integration this will be x raised to 4 dx plus integral. This will be 3x dx then minus integral. This will be 9 dx. So now, what will you do? This write as it is first. This is the constant, so you will take outside. These other things will be inside here. Again, this will be, this is 9 is constant, you will take here. So inside that will be integral 1 dx. So now we'll let us take the integration of this one. So that will be x is to 4 plus 1 divided by 4 plus 1. This 3 will be as it is. Here will be x is to, here there is 1 actually. So that will be 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1. 
and minus 9 will be as it is and 1 dx means that is going to be x you have seen in the formulas. So now this will be 5, this is going to be 2 and the same. So this is the answer. Now let us see for this one, this is a constant so it will go outside. Let us take the integration separately first. So minus 10 integration of t raised to minus 6 dt because here is t so we are writing in terms of uh, dt. So if it was x then you could have written here dx plus 4 this will be what remains inside this 1 dt. So now let us take the integration of this one. So that will be 3 plus 1 divided by 3 plus this will be as it is this will be as it is again minus 6 plus 1 minus 6 plus 1 in the denominator this will be as it is and for this one you know that is will be t and this will be c so now 4 divided by 4 this 10 as it is this will be minus 5 divided by minus 5 hope this is clear this is the same 5 ones are 5 2 then this minus and minus becomes plus so this is plus so this this is 2 t is to minus 5 plus 4 t plus c so this is the answer now for this one what we can do we can consider e raised to x divided by 1 plus e raised to x dx so we can consider the denominator this as u so u is 1 1 plus e raised to x so now let us take the derivative of this one that will be du by dx because this is x so we can pick it to dx and you know this is a constant means that is going to be 0 e raised to x means the derivative of that is going to be the same so now when we uh, take from this one if we take if we cross multiply so this is going to be d is equal to uh, e raised to x into dx so now if we take dx separately so this is going to be d, uh, du divided by e raised to x so we can also write this one as e, 1 by e raised to x du is equal to d raised to x so this is what is here so now what will you do you will substitute this one wherever you see d raised to x you will write this value in this one in this part so this is e raised to x so this also is e raised to x for this one we have considered as u so you will write here u and for d, uh, dx that is 1 by e x d raised to u hope this is clear so just substituting we, are, we will put in the equation so now this and this gets cancelled what remains is 1 by u d raised to u and you know integration of 1 by u is that will be we, we can write here log or we can write here in that will be u plus c and now see here this is not done now actually we have just considered u as what that is 1 plus e raised to x so that we have to put it at the end so 1 plus e raised to x plus c and why is that absolute value this sign gone because you know e raised to x 1 plus e raised to x is greater than 0 so now we are just writing a bracket for this one so you can write this one since why that is gone because since we can write that 1 plus e raised to x that is greater than 0 so now let us see for this one that this part we can consider as u so for this one we will take the derivative du by dx so your derivative of x square that will be 2x because you know x is to n is n into x raised to n minus 1 so this part is n so 2 raised to x raised to 2 minus 1 so that will be 2x so this is 2x so now from this one if we rearrange this dx value is going to be 1 by 2x this will come here so that will be 1 by 2x du when you rearrange this one you can rearrange and see so now we are going to put substitute in this one so now what we have we have x cos will keep as it is and in place of x square we are going to put here u because we are considered this u and in place of dx we are going to consider this one 1 by 2x du so this is here so now what happens here x and x gets cancelled so we can take here this 1 by 2 is con constant so we will take out of this one so this integral of that will be cos u du and now you know what is u u is x square so you will write here the uh, first thing you will write the integration of this one cos u du means uh, the integration of cos is sin sin u plus c and later on what will you do you are going to put the value of u that is x square 
and this is c so this is the answer so now integration root of 2x plus 1 dx so now we only for this part inside 2x plus 1 we'll consider u so we'll take the derivative of this one du by dx that will be what 2x the derivative of this is going to be 2 and x means x is to 1 so this is going to be n so 2 into 1 into x raised to 1 minus 1 that will be 2 into 1 that will be just 2 x is to 1 minus 1 means x is to 0 that is going to be 1 so answer is going to be just 2 and this is constant means that is going to be 0 so the derivative of this is going to be just 2 so now when you rearrange this the dx value is going to be 1 by 2 du so now just let let us put this dx here the value of this one in equation number this equation the original one so now you know this is we have considered this as u that will be root of u and in place of dx you are going to write this one half du so now this half is constant will take outside this integral sign and this will be root of u du and now you you know the integration of root of u that will be uh, first let us uh, remove the root of this one so that will be uh, the root of u is u this will be half so now if we take the integral of this one so that will be 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 1 by 2 plus 1 plus this is going to be c and this 1 by 2 will be out of this one so now when we add this one that is going to be 3 by 2 so this also should be 3 by 2 plus c so now when you rearrange this one so this is when you take the reciprocal because this is in the denominator if we take in the numerator that will be the reciprocal so that is going to be 2 by 3 and this will be as it is plus c and now this and this gets cancelled so this remains as 1 by 3 but for this one u we had considered 2x plus 1 so we'll write here 2x plus 1 and this will be other things will be the same so this is the answer so always see that whenever there is u we have to substitute the u at the start so you, you have to put it at the end that value of that whatever we have considered u as and then conclude the answer so that we have seen for the indefinite one for the non, let, let us see for the definite integral so you know the definite one only, only what is this here it goes from here now suppose this is from 0 to 2 and 1 by 3 plus 5x is to 2 dx so now we'll consider this as u so u plus 3 plus 5x and when we take the derivative of this one so that will be du by dx so this uh, 3 is constant means that will be 0 when we take the derivative of this this is going to be 5 so when we rearrange this so dx the value is going to be 1 by 5 du so now here see here this is from 0 to 2 so if it is at 0 so what will be u this one so you are going to put here in place of x wherever you see you are going to put 0 in this one so you got just got 5 into 0 is going to be 0 so answer is going to be u is going to be 3 and in when it is x is 2 so you are going to put in this equation you are going to put this one as in place of x you are going to put 2 so that will be 3 plus 5 into 2 that will be 10 so this will be 13 so now what are you going to do you will write here you got two values that is u values so that will be 3 and 13 so you will write here 3 and 13 and 1 by and here this is 3 plus 5x you have considered this as u so this is going to be u square so this is u square and for this one dx you got as what that is 1 by 5 du so you are going to write here 1 by 5 du so now here this 1 by 5 is constant so you will take it here rest here 3 by 3 to 13 and uh, if this you take in the u uh, raised to 2 if you take in the numerator it is going to be u raised to minus 2 and here remains is du so now what will you do you will take the integration of this one this 1 by 5 you will write as it is so when you take the integration of this one that will be my minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 and of course this one 3 to 13 so in this one whenever we write here after take, uh, removing the integration sign so we have to put this type of bracket the square bracket and then you will write here 3 to 13 so now first thing let us solve this one so 1 by 5 will be as it is so this is minus 2 plus 1 means it is going to be minus 1 again this will be minus 1 3 to 13 so now we can do for this one now just concentrate on this one because this is minus 1 so if it is here because here is minus 1 means here is plus plus divided by minus also is minus and if you do minus divided by plus also is minus so you can take this minus sign in the numerator this will be minus for this one and this will be the same 3 to 13 
So now this we can also take this minus over here. So that will be minus 1 by 5. So now what remains is just u raised to minus 1. Now I just want to remove the negative sign. So that is going to be 1 by u. It goes in the denominator so that becomes positive. So this one will be 3 by uh, 3 is to 13. So now what will you do? In this one, for this value, one, so you are going to take 13 and the other time you are going to take this 3. So you will write here 1 by 13 minus 1 by 3. So now let us solve this one. This will be as it is. So the LCM here is 39. So here you are going to multiply by 3, here by 13. So it will be 3 minus 13 by 39. So here 3 minus 13 that is going to be minus 13 plus 3 that is going to be minus 10. So minus 10 by 39. So now here you will simplify this 5 ones are 5 twos are and this minus and minus becomes plus. So what remains in the numerator is 2, 2 divided by 39. So this is the answer. So now let us see for this one. This was for 5x raised to this square. The same here, this is just when we take 3 plus 5 x So this is going to be, now look at here. u is 3 plus 5x and du by dx, if we take the derivative of this, this is just going to be 5 because this is going to be 0, this is constant. So when we rearrange this, dx value is going to be 1 by 5 du. So now if we are taking here, x0 so you get now the same thing what you have done in the previous one that the value of u is going to be 3 when you take x as 2 the value is going to be 13 so now what will you do here this is just u so you will write here 1 by u into you know for dx what did you get here 1 by 5 du so 1 by 5 du so this is going to be now see here 1 by 5 is constant so you will take outside so now here, yeah, uh, integration of 1 by u du means it is going to be in, this will be the absolute value of u and this will be 3 by 13. So this one will be, once you have for u, you are going to take 13 minus in, this is going to be 3 for that. So 1 by 3 and whenever you have for this one in minus sign over here means it is going to be division. So you will write here 13 divided by 13 or 3, that will be 3. So now when you, this will be when you just, you can check it on your uh, KLC. When you put this values 1 by 5 into in, 13 by 3, the answer is going to be 0 0.29. So did you see the difference between this one? This answer was 0 0.29. And here we got as 2s2 divided by 39. So now let us see this problem here. Whenever that is from 1 to e in x divided by x dx so for this part we will consider this as u so when we take the derivative of this one du by dx is that will be for in x that is going to be 1 by x so when we rearrange this the dx value is going to be x to u so now for 1 wherever this one by u is going to be what wherever x you see you are going to put 1 so that is going to be in 1 divided by 1. So we are just going to ignore 1 divided by 1 means it's going to be the same. So this is going to be in 1 that is going to be 0. So at x is equal to e when you put in this place we put e so that is going to be 1. So now we'll put these values over here we got 0 and 1 so 0 and 1. So here in x means we have considered this as u. So this is u, here is already x, so x is here, and for dx, what is that? That is x du, so this is x du. So this x and x gets cancelled, so 0, so what remains here is u du. So now let us take the integration of this one, so this is going to be, actually this is 1, so 1 plus 1, that is going to be 2, divided by, that will be 2, and from 0, just put a square bracket, 0 to 1. So now once you are going to take 1, 1 square, divided by this 2, minus here, you are going to take for this one as 0 square divided by this 2. So it will be 1 divided by 2 minus this will be 0 divided by 2 means 0. So the answer is 1 by 2. So by this one we have completed today's work.
do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts thank you